you that you walk worthy of the vocation with which you are called. Yes, sir. With all loneliness, meekness, and long suffering, for bearing one another in love. Yes, sir. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Look at your name say, do all you can. Do all you, you can. can. To keep the unity. To keep, keep the, the unity, unity of the spirit. Of the spirit. In the bond of peace. In, in the bond, bond of peace. peace. Where it says there is one body, one spirit, even as ye are called in one hope of your calling. Yes, sir. One Lord, one faith, one baptism. Yes, sir. One God and Father of all who is above all, all and through all and in you all. Mm -hmm. In verse 7. Yes, sir. But unto every one of us is given grace yes, according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Amen. 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 I want you to look, just, just, just say your name. Say neighbor. Neighbor. How much Christ? How much Christ? You have in you. Do you have in you.
How much? How much of what Jesus is saying is in me? And can I pass it on? Yeah, yeah. Amen. Because if Christ is in you, God has given you a measure of grace. Yeah, yes. yeah. According to Christ, then I'll to see some signs. Yes, sir. Yes. I shouldn't always see your attitude first. <laughs> Can I get a witness? Amen. I, I, I shouldn't have to have to deal with, with all the issues that's going on in your life before I can see some Christ in your life. Right? Yeah. The sad thing is, many of us will bring our problems first before we talk about our relationship with Jesus. We, we bring all the issues up and before we talk about how God has made a way and how he woke me up this morning yes, and how yes. I'm thankful. We, we, we're quick to talk about everything that's going wrong. And I'm going to raise my hand and say every once in a while, if you catch me at the right time, you hear what I'm going through. <laughs> but I've come to realize that it's better for me to tell you about how God is in my life and how yeah, he's working yeah. in my life than it is for me to tell you about all of my trouble. Yeah. And that don't mean that I cover it up, which in my message today when I thought about, I said, Lord, how many of us are walking over the things that we need to change because we don't want to change? Mm. Oh, yeah, yeah. How many of us think we are the same? Yeah, I'm going to just keep my hand up. Amen? <laughs> because so many times we're trying to be the same person that we've always been, yeah. but there's yeah. only one person who has not changed. That's, right. That's God. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's no need to change, but you and I, we need to change. We need to change the way we think. We need to change the way we talk. We need to change the way we walk. We need to change who we hang with. Uh -huh. We need to change. Yeah, yeah. And every morning that God wakes you up, He wakes you up into a changing situation. Yes, sir. But the sad thing is, Many of us got us in us more than we got Christ in us. Yeah. Uh -huh. But the word said, be ye transformed oh, by the renewal of your mind. Meaning I got to change the way that I think yeah. Yeah. to yeah. be more like Christ yeah. every day. Yeah. Yeah. Every day. Yes, sir. There's some people who don't feel that they need Jesus. Because they've associated Jesus with church. Uh -huh. yeah. Thinking that the church that I go to makes me a better person. It should. it should. It should tell you to be more like Christ. Christ. Church that you go to ought to encourage you to be more like Christ. The word that you read ought to encourage you to be more like Christ. I don't need you to be like Pastor Warren. I don't need you to be like some of the good members in here. I don't need you to be like some of the bad members in here. I need you to be more like Christ. Because yes. if you're more like Christ, you'll do what others say that they won't do. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. You'll give when your heart and your mind is not set on giving. All right. oh, Lord. God moved on me as I thought about it. I said, well, Lord, how much more can I give? Lord, I, I've given everything to, to this ministry. How much more do I need to put on the table? You know what? It'll be foolish for me to wait for y'all to do more for me to do more. Because regardless of what you do, it's what God does in my life. Uh -huh, uh -huh. It's the door that he opens. Yeah. It's what he gave. Yeah. You may not give me a dime, but the Lord has given me Amen. 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 So it's about being more like Christ. Yes, sir. And God has given each of us a measure of his grace according to Christ. Y'all yes, yes. still with me? Yes. Amen. So the Christian home is, is where Christ is known. Right. Amen. Amen. How much Christ do you have in, Amen. at home? Oh, Amen. Amen. Can, 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 can you take some of your sanctification from here today and let it be in your house? Yeah, yeah. Is Christ known in your house? Amen. Or do we do we have a different crown at the house? <laughs> Hello. 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 Is, is he the king in your house or are you the king? Yeah. Are you the queen? How much Christ? And I, I want to make sure I, I say this in the right way because the Christian home is affected by what's in it. A house divided cannot stand. 
So somebody has to be supreme. We have to be unified in something in the house. Yeah, yeah. When it comes down to religion, amen, it's not about me being Baptist and you being Methodist. Mm -mm. Right? It's, not, it's not about me being holy just growing up and, and you were Catholic growing up. Yeah. There's no difference in that because God, he said, there's one God. Right. There's right. one faith. Right. There's one baptism. Right. There's one spirit. Yes. Yes. We got to come to unity knowing that we are all under God. Yeah. This is where the divide falls in our country because we're trying to take God out of it. Yep. Mm -hmm. But we yeah. used to say it proudly, one nation. Under God. Under God. Indivisible. Yeah. You can't come between what we got with the law. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. Christian home is where Christ is known. Yes, sir. Christ is trusted. Christ is obeyed. Yes, sir. The husband loves his wife as Christ loved the church. He's steadfast and sincere with her and to her needs. Ephesians chapter 5, verse 21 through 25, it says, The wife reverences and respects her husband. She recognizes him as the head of household. Together they commit to love, prepare, and lead their children in the ways of God. Yeah. That it may replicate with them. And then children, in Colossians chapter 3 verse 20, they ought to re respect and obey their parents in the law. How much Christ you got at home? How much Christ is in your life? Well, we, we, we can do this a different type of way. We can just say, I'm grown. Yeah. We, we can just say, I'm the man. Put my foot down. <laughs> we, we can continue to have battle after battle. Or we can fall in subjection with Christ's authority yeah. in our life. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Individually and collectively. Yes, sir. God helps me to, to understand that, that, that Paul speaks to Ephesians that he showed that there was a purpose in endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Meaning we can't make this my way or your way. We got to make it God's way. Yeah. Yes, sir. Can you witness? Amen. Yes, Amen. Many of us right now, we, we, we drop through a position. And even our children know it. So instead of coming to daddy, guess where they're going to go to? Mom. Mom. And if mama ain't in uni unity with the daddy, they're going to have their way. Yeah. Amen. 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 Okay, so let me throw the cautions out there, mama. Don't be saying yes on things that your husband will say no about. Yeah. Well, 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 well. Because that's not unity. That's yeah. Right. Amen. And your child got their way because they really wanted to do what they want to do. But you're not seeing under mine. Right. You just brought the vision in your home. Yeah. 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 Okay. Bison. You walk. Because when we're in unity, there can be peace. Yeah. Yeah. That's right. But if there's no unity, then there's going to be division. There's going to be confusion. And then we say, we say, we say to ourselves, well, you know what, when I was younger, I did something. That's what the problem is. Because <laughs> when you was younger, you was looking to find your way too. You yep. weren't necessarily obedient to your parents. Yeah, yeah, true. You tried to get your way. Yeah. And if you let them get their way, then you don't love them. Yeah. Amen. 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 I don't agree with that, Pastor. Oh. I love my child. Well, if you love them, you train them in the way that God. Yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. Obey yeah. your parents. Oh, yeah. For this is right. In God. Yeah. And there's no way that they can obey their parents yeah. if one decides you can do it and one says no. Now there's an option. And let me show you how it works because fathers give up too easy because they got so many things going on, they just go with it. To make it from experience. Amen. 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 So, when you're okay, now the child feels, well, I just talk to mama. And guess what? Mommy and child got that chummy relationship. Yes, yes, Because they always going to come to mommy. Amen. This is 
why, this is why when, when, when touchdown happened, hi mom. Because <laughs> she okayed some things that daddy didn't okay. And at the risk of your marriage, which is not a problem when you do it once or twice, but when you do it all the time. Yeah. You're not respecting your husband. Yeah. You are not in unity. Why y'all looking y'all looking around? <laughs> Tell the truth. So where is Christ in the home? Amen? Amen. Amen. Where is Christ in the home? Here's the challenge that we have today. There's less talk between husbands and wives because we don't want to disagree. We don't want to argue. It's not about arguing. It's about being unified. Yeah. It's yeah. about yeah. peace. Yeah. Yeah. We need to understand our leadership and what our goals are and what our objectives are with our children because we are training them up in the way that they should go. We train them up in Christ. Isn't that right? Yes. Yes. Isn't that how we feel? Yes. yes. So why do, you, why, do, why, do, why do most of our women, why do most of our mothers feel like they're doing it by themselves? Okay, Pastor. Because they do. And in so many ways, we, we accept the role of just bringing home the bacon. <laughs> Amen? Amen? But you brought home bacon, and she ain't cooking. <laughs> Amen. Amen? Amen? The bacon's in there. <laughs> but ain't nobody cooking. Uh-huh, uh-huh. The lights do work. It's part of our testimony. Yeah. 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 Ain't that right? Yeah. Every time you flush that toilet... I did that. <laughs> you drive that car? I did that. <laughs> and he did. Yeah. Amen. But the unity is not there because there is some underlying division. Yes. Yes. And the underlying division will continue to have a pretty face if you keep doing what you want on your side and I keep doing it on my, my side. And we come up with rules like this. You take care of the outside of the house. I'll take care of the inside of the house. Well, long as we agree. <laughs> Amen? Yeah. Y'all still walking with me? Amen. Amen. As long as we agree. Amen? Yeah. So when he come inside the house <laughs> and this is piled up, clothing and wash, yeah. ain't nobody cook the bacon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and you standing there with your hand on your hip saying, oh, what's wrong oh. with you? I'm going to your part of <laughs> <laughs> Together. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah. Peace. Amen. But ladies, you cannot throw your husband under the bus with your children and expect for them to respect their father. Because if they got a yes out of you and a no out of them, they will start they will start not liking the no out of the father. Yeah. Yeah. They'll love them because they have to, they know what the provision is, but if I really want to get what I want, yeah. I'm not talking to him. Can I get a witness? Amen. But if you say what he say, amen, and he say what you say, then there's no division. Amen. amen. And they understand without, without any confusion that this is not what I'm supposed to do. Right, right. Y'all get what I'm saying? Amen. 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 It's on this paper right here. <laughs> Look at your neighbor and say, pass it on. Pass, pass it, on. it on. Okay, so, so together as a family... We experience our faith with hope and action. Yes, sir. Together as a family. This is what we do as a family. We don't lie to one another. Amen. That's, that's something that we shouldn't do as a family. Right. Because we don't need any division. Ain't that right? Amen. We don't steal from one another. That's not what we do as a family. Amen. Right. If that's your soda in there. That's your soda. I need to come and ask you, can I have some of your yeah. soda? I don't think it's because it's in the house that it's okay for me to touch something. Yeah. And I does not belong. Somebody ought to, somebody ought to say hey. So as a family, we, we, we learn how to, to experience our faith and hope in action. Meaning the things that I do represent the family that I'm a part of. So greater than that, it represents the Christ. Amen. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Faith in God. Amen. Faith in self. Yeah. Faith in each other. Yes, sir. Faith that God will hold our family together. Amen. If I do my part, you do your part. Amen. Amen. If we do our part, God will bless us. Yeah. For being faithful. Amen. I have to take it as my responsibility, meaning that you might have told me once, you might have told me twice, but after that, I ought to have it. This is what we do as a family. Amen. I think I preach this message in a different way, that, that, that even the towels in our house should represent what our family stands for. <laughs> Amen. So if you happen to have some maroon and gold towels with some white accent, you know as a family we represent the Washington Redskins. <laughs> Preach, Pastor, preach. <laughs> uh, 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 our hope, y'all follow me, I'm not going to be too much longer. Our hope is based on the goodness and faithfulness of God. Yes, sir. Now we know God is faithful. Yeah. But can we be faithful, faithful. to Him? Amen, oh, amen. Amen. Yeah. Our hope is based on the goodness and faithfulness of God and based on the character and the commitment of the followers, we should all represent Christ. Amen. So now Ephesians speaks in a way where Paul says, I therefore a prisoner of the Lord beseech you, Peter, I call you to walk worthy of the vocation which you are called. Yes, sir. I'm calling out my family <coughs> to say, family, you know how we were raised. Yes, you know what we were called to do. Yes, we were called to serve the Lord. Yes, we were called to, to, to be a part of the number. Yes. Amen. So, yes. so as a family, I don't have to tell you and remind you that we go to church on Sunday. Yes. All your life, we know we go to church. Yes. Yes. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Amen. We don't we know works well for the family. Yeah, yeah. The witness, we got to recognize sin when it comes into the family. Amen, uh, amen. Being of age doesn't mean it's okay for you to stop cursing. Mm -mm. Just because you learn the words don't mean that you should use the words. Yeah, yeah. Can you witness? Amen. And as a family, we have to learn how to respect the family. Amen, and yeah. And respect God. Yeah. It burns me up when I hear my children use words that they shouldn't use. Yeah. Because I don't say them words to you. And if I did, I meant it. We'll take that with them when they get older. You heard me say it, I meant it. <laughs> But we got to recognize sins when we hear it. Yeah, yeah. Because when change comes, that change challenges what we represent in Christ. Right. Yes, Amen. Yes, Christ don't go around using Phil Florin Phil. <laughs> <laughs> so me as a believer, I have to learn how to train my tongue yes, to speak like Christ. Amen. Yes, Amen. And Christ in this red light, in this red writing, don't always say thee thou and Amen. Amen. And my mama used to always tell me, you always tell the truth. That's right. Amen. That's if you right. tell the truth, she said, it'll save That's your soul. Yeah. And I believe it. I believe it. It didn't save me from the whipping sometimes, but my soul is safe. I know I'm going to heaven. I learned right and wrong. In the house. In the amen. Not amen. Not in the jail. In, in my the house. house. Amen. Praise the Lord. So we recognize sin. We, we hear and we recognize it. Amen. Let, let me show you how Christ trumps street. You know, when you walk in the street, there was a certain way you presented yourself in the street. Yeah. And people respected you if you knew what you what you were saying. Yes, sir. Until now. Until now. Yeah. It don't matter what you say. It don't went from what colors you represent and why you walk through here with colors on to where I just want your shoes. Yeah. yeah. What was the rapper that, that just died, got shot down in, in California? Nipsey. Nipsey. Nipsey what? Hustle. Nipsey Hustle. Okay. Out of all the good that he was trying to do in his neighborhood, but not just in his neighborhood, all around the world. You see how much impact he had? 
So why he get gunned down in his own place? Mm. This is the world that we live in. Yes, sir. Family shouldn't do that. Family. Amen. Right. Can you witness? Amen. Amen. What you saw happen. What you saw happen. There was somebody that was close enough, enough yeah. to pull that off. Yeah. Yeah. Who have they arrested? Nobody. Which shows us that it's, it's bigger than just the people that was on the street. Yep. Is that any different than what happened to Malcolm X? Is that any different than what happened to Martin Luther King? Is that anything different than what's happening to you in your own family? Mm. Yeah. Let, let, let me read the scripture again. All right. You are worthy of your vocation wherewith you are called. With all loneliness and meekness and long suffering, forbearing one another in love. Yes, sir. It's my job yes. to love my brother. Yeah. Yes, sir. It's my job to love my sister. Yes. It's my job to love my children. Yes. It's my job to love your children. Yes. It's my job to care about those that God has put into my life, whether it be stranger or somebody I've known since I was growing up. Amen. Yes, sir. That's my responsibility as a part of my Christian duty. It's what God has called me to be more like Christ. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. So Christ trumps the street when it comes down to repping. Christ trumps the street when it comes down to opportunity and giving back. Yes, Nipsey gave some of what he had, but Jesus gave all. Yes, yeah. 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 I'm speaking this in this turn because the question is how much Christ is in you? Oh Lord. You being you is one thing. But you being more like Christ. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. 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 Yeah. I can be more understanding if I'm if I'm if I'm following in the patterns of Christ. Yeah. Yes, I can be more forgiving if I'm following in the patterns of Christ. Yes. Satan wants you to be full of yourself. God wants you to be full of Christ. Amen. Amen. God wants you to be delivered from sin. Yes, sir. Satan wants to keep you here in sin. sin. Yeah. You got to recognize sin when you see it. Yeah. You got to recognize sin when you hear it. Yeah. The Bible tells us that we all miss the mark for all have sin and come short of the glory of God. Yes, Paul shares with us the natural and carnal state that is apart from God. But Jesus Christ shows us the way yeah, yeah. which is in him to God. Yeah. I want you to understand the word that, that, that I'm setting forth to you. The question that needs to be asked, answered is, it is how much Christ <coughs> is in me. Yeah. Yeah. Because uh, Paul gives me some direction. He, he said I ought to keep myself humble. Mm -hmm. yes, sir, yes. With all loneliness and meekness. Amen. Yes, sir, I yes. got to keep caring. Yeah. Even when they don't care about me. Yeah. With long suffering, meaning I gotta go through some things with you. This relationship is taxing. Just being a friend of you, you don't call back when I call you. Yeah. Uh, you don't give like you like like you want me to give to, to you. This relationship uh, is one sided, but God wants me to be more like Christ oh, yeah. than myself. Yeah. Can I Amen. Yeah. Endeavoring to keep the unity of the spirit in the bond of peace. Yes, because if the spirit of God dwells in you, uh -huh. it's not for me to cause you to, to lose your connection with yeah, God. Yeah. Because the spirit cannot dwell in an unclean temple. Yeah. I can't be the reason why the spirit can dwell within you. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. On Friday. Uh -huh. But we ain't gonna go that far huh, to where we lose our spiritual connection to God and to each other. Amen. 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 Oh, Lord. God wants us to understand that, that there is a spiritual responsibility that we have one for another. I got a spiritual responsibility to my wife. I got a spiritual responsibility to my children. I got a spiritual responsibility to the church. Yeah. There's nothing that, that I should do that should cause anybody to stumble yeah. or cause yeah. them to fall out of fellowship yeah. with God. Yeah. If anything, the things that I do ought to magnify the Lord. It ought to increase Amen. 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 Am
see the church right now because we're living in time where people are looking for everything but God. Yes. When they come in contact with you, they ought to see Jesus. Yes. They ought to see Christ like in you. They yes. ought to see it in the way that you, you present yourself in your character. Yeah, they yeah. ought to see Jesus. They ought to see your faith in God when you walk into the room. Uh -huh. Not because we created this to be church. Yeah. But because my faith is so great, you can't see nothing but yeah, Christ yeah, yeah, yeah. in me. When you look at yourself in the mirror, stop talking about yourself and talking down as if God did not love you. He did not create you. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Never speak bad to yourself, but thinking you're, that you are less than what God created you to be. You are a son or daughter of the most high. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Encourage yourself in your faith. Encourage your children in their faith. Encourage your friends' children in their faith. And then we gotta have faith in one another. Yeah, Just yeah, yeah, yeah. Faith. Amen. If Christ is in you, uh -huh. you have to celebrate the Christ in you. Yeah. I want to celebrate the fact that you don't do the things that you used to do. I want to celebrate the fact that you're singing for the Lord now. Uh -huh. I want to celebrate the fact that you're preaching for the Lord now. I want to celebrate the fact that you go to church every Sunday, yeah. that you read your Bible, that you know Jesus for yourself. Yeah. Celebrate the faith that are in each other. And the last thing that I want to say that we don't all thank God for the future that he holds. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. He holds my future. Yes, sir. A song I love since I was a little boy because he lived I can face tomorrow. I don't have to worry about what's going to happen because I'm in the Lord's hands. Yes, I got to focus on being more like Christ. There is one body, one spirit, even as you're called, one hope in your calling, one Lord, one faith, one baptism, one God, one Father of all, who is above all and through all and in you all. But unto every one of yes. us is given grace. Yes. Yes. Thank you, Lord, for that. Yes. For every one of us, it is given grace. Yes. Thank God for that. Yes. They may not be where you think they should be. But thank God for the grace yeah. that has been given. Yeah. I can't talk you out of what you're doing, but I'm going to thank God for his grace. Because when you make it through your trials and your tribulation, death couldn't grab you because of the grace yeah. of God. Yeah. So many of us have been down. So many of us have been broken, but the grace of God that he has for all of us. We ought to give God praise for his grace. Because the grace that has been given. It wasn't because of my mama. I love my mama. But the grace that has been given has been given because of what Jesus has done for me. I don't know how you feel about it, church, but every once in a while, the world can't talk me into and the world can't talk me out of my relationship with God. Amen. Jesus did something on Calvary that not only registers with me, but it shows me God's love for me. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. Some of you won't give your children a, a time to be in a better place in their life. But God gave a time in a place for his son to die for so that we can live. I can ask you, I can ask you, have your children here on Wednesday. There's a special thing we're doing with the youth. And you'll still have to decide whether or not you want your children to go. But Jesus Christ, God offered him up. Regardless of our doubt, regardless of our unfaithfulness, you yes, said while we were yet in sin, Christ died for us. We weren't even ready for it, and God had already set a time and a date. And just like that, there's a 